haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get instantly notified from the updates of Bing Civil, a complete civil engineering tutorial channel. Happy learning! Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, we will talk about the shear center concept. Now, what does the shear center means? This is nothing but a point in a section where if you apply a load then the section will be of pure bending that is there will be no torsion that is the member will not twist you see this is a i section if you apply a point load at its center like this then this member will go under pure bending that is about this axis if you see um, its uh, length let this is and the, there is only vertical load going through the center of the cross section then the beam will be bent like this there will be only pure bending but in this case the member will not go through twisting that is this will not happen so what is shear center shear center is a point where you apply a load the member will be purely in bending no torsion no twisting in that section for symmetrical section like this one i section it is quite obvious that the shear center will be at the cg of that section so for symmetrical section the shear center is the cg of the section there is no problem to determine it so shear center determination comes into question in case of unsymmetrical section you see this is angle section so when this section is under force in the section there develops some there develop some shearing stresses inside the section the direction of that shearing stress is like this this is also called shear flow now you see these two forces actually un unbalanced there is some resultant forces so this section will not in pure bending it is in torsion so what is the direction of that force so this force is in this direction like this and this force in this direction so the resultant is in this direction 
So you have to apply a force in the opposite direction and at the same point to balance this twisting. So you have to apply a vertical force like this going through the same point. So for angle section this is the shear center. If we if you apply the force at this section the angle member will be in equilibrium and in pure bending no torsion no twisting hope you understand that and now for the channel section this is the channel section now what is the shear flow for channel section the shear flow is in this direction in the bottom flange then it goes up through the web then come to the top flange so you see there is a force if one in this direction if one in this direction and if two this if one is opposite to each other and in equilibrium but these two forces is creating a couple moment like this and the this F2 is also not in this F2 force is also not balanced the channel CG is someone here so this F2 and this couple is creating an clockwise moment that is about this axis so the channel will bend the channel will twist like this to avoid this you have to apply a balancing moment somewhere to the left so you have to apply a force here which is eccentric from the channel not within the channel if you apply a shear for uh, apply a force here then this moment is balanced so the channel section shear center is eccentric hope you have understood the concept of shear center let write down the definition for you all shear center Hope you understood the shear center concept. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Give your give your comments in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Thank you. Happy learning.